let's go back to the dies from this die set. We've seen what we can do with this die. You can cut the double or you can cut the single. You can see what you can do with this die, which is the pocket. You can see what we can do with this die. Let's have a look at what this die can do. This die is just a little bit smaller than this one here. Let's cut a piece of paper with this one and let's see how big it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this piece of paper and I'm going to cut this die just out of this one here. So I've cut this piece. How big is this piece in comparison to this piece? It's actually quite small. So I would imagine that this piece is just something that goes in to this pocket here, like that. Or um, where was that other one that we cut? This one here, I would imagine that is just another piece that can go into this folder here so that you can add whatever you need to add with it. You can always cut two of these. However, you can't really use this spine attacher to it because the spine attacher is quite large compared to this die. So maybe just cutting inserts with this, that's what this is for. Next is these elements, which are such fun elements. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with these. I am going to come down here and I'm going to make some paper clips, okay? All right, and these are the paper clips that they cut. These are totally, totally cute. I really love these. You can leave them. You can leave them as is out of really pretty foiled paper. But the other thing is that you have got these really cute inset dies that cut out, um, cut out a pattern into them. So all you would need to do is line this up onto your die, hold it down. You're going to need to hold it down to the paper clip. And then you run this through your big shot, and we're going to do two here. And you get this really, let's get some of these little holes out. All right, and it says hello right in. It says hello right in the die. That is pretty cool. I think that that is one of the coolest dies in this set. Really cool. You really couldn't do that um, without a die or like a silhouette cutting machine. That's really cool. Now let's have a look at the other one. This one here says notes. Such a clean cut, and these dies will go straight in there or this way. How cool is that? I totally adore these dies. Um, so there's three of those. One says hello, one says notes, and one says to do. Um, the other thing you can do, and I've actually I've cut them out of silver cardstock and then you can just cut them out and you can put them on paper like this and tape them down. So to do and notes and hello. The other thing you have on here is that you've got two dies here, one that says hello and one that says notes. And they, I've, I've cut them out with the silver cardstock here, and they can just easily go ahead and get put on to paper, paper clips like this. One more thing I wanted to show you is these dies. So you have got four little dies here that have various shapes on the very top. So let's go ahead and cut some of these out and let me show you some of the things you can do with these.
there is a few more things in here which I haven't even opened yet. So there is a bow die in here and a heart die in here. That I know for a fact would fit really cool on there. Yeah, I'm sure that's why they made it. And that would fit really good on there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use a red cardstock and I'm going to cut these out in red. You guys, how cute is this? Watch this. And put that on there. Oh my gosh, that is total cuteness. And put that one on there. And it just really makes this pop. And the cutest thing is that this is embossed on the inside and it's got hearts embossed on it. Embossed heart, embossed heart. That is the cutest thing ever. Gosh, I love these. Just the tiny little details really make all the difference. How cute. Now I'm going to need to make a matching matching one to put these in. Let me go and do that. I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, so I had to make a folio um, that matched the design, the paper collection that we had. And what I did was I ran, I put this heart strip at the top there and I ran that through the big shot and it gave me this really beautiful pattern at the top. Uh, but you can use that in uh, lots of other things. Now, do you see this lone ranger sitting right here? I had to think about this and I think what this might be is a little tab that you can put that you can make here to make a pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very quickly find the center. The center is there and I cut this piece of paper just a single piece out of this fold for the folded insert. I cut just one single piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, actually what I might do is I might put it here on this side. So I'm just going to find the center of here and I'm going to add this tab there around the halfway point and then I'm going to hold my washi down and run this piece through my big shot. This sticky, this washi comes off, this tab comes off, and then this little bit comes off. And now what we have, and that kind of defeats that purpose of doing that, but oh well, um, now we have a little pocket here. So if I get my glue and run a thin bit of glue along the side here, just like this, and then you can put whatever you need to in there. And you've got that thumb notch. That's so cool. I just wanted to show you another one that I did here. So instead of having that thumb notch at the side, like I did there, I did the thumb notch at the very top there, so that this is another area where you can add elements. And then I also added the pocket down here, so you can add more things, and this is uh, the silver cardstock that I used to make the paper clips with those words in there. So beautiful. And then I added that spine here and then a pocket on the side there for more stuff to go in. Alright everybody, so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial um, showing all the things you could do with the Caitlin Lizardi Biggs die and the Thinlids die. Just really quickly, I wanted to mention the Biggs die. You'd think that um, it's something that you can easily make on your own, and and perhaps that's true. But part of the reason why the Biggs die is so 
popular is because it is able to cut through quite a heavy material. So this is thick um, chipboard and I was able to cut through that no problem. Now the only problem with chipboard that I found is obviously this is really ugly and you don't want to have a planner just made out of this. So after I cut this I cut cardstock to go on top and I found that the cardstock on top cracked. So um, although I love the sturdiness of this and the fact that it's not laminated, I don't know how to prevent that from cracking. And this is good cardstock, this medium weight cardstock that has the gold foiling. So it's not a cheap paper, it's very heavy. So that's what that looked like. Um, the one thing that I totally adore was the fact that it cut the craft text. Now, craft text is hands down my favorite product for making travelers' notebooks and planners and wallets and a whole lot of journals and mini albums and stuff like that. This cut through like butter. This is like paper um, that will never tear. So um, I usually. I would buy the big dies to use the craft text on. You can cut through um, just normal cardboard. This cardboard, this is just cornflakes, it is thinner than this chipboard, but once again, um, you have that problem of when you cover it with a paper that it will crack. So that's just something to think about when you're thinking what materials you want to cut the bigs die with. Obviously the thin lids can only cut paper. So that's it for me. I'm going to go and continue making some of these very gorgeous inserts for my planners. Have a lovely day you guys and I'll see you in my next video.